hey loves and welcome back to my channel so this is the part two the continuation of the class that i posted on sunday so this is where we stopped right and i said that we'll continue with the finishing now i am done shaping the gown right and i opened the zipper allowance the zipper allowance will be the only side that will have a french seam on this dress then i'll open my lining also and i'll place it on the dress and i'll turn the down part of this dress first of all so i am done turning the down part of the gown i'll top stitch on the lining then i will turn the neckline you can notice that i turned the down part first of all and i reduced the length of my lining by two inches you reduce the length of your lining so that it will not be coming out now you go and turn your neckline the front and the back neckline i am done turning the front and the back neckline the next thing that i'm going to do is to turn the sides of this gown you can see i am turning it and i will turn the sides of the gown i'm done turning the down part first the neckline second and i will turn the the side seams so now after turning the side seams i will turn it out from the armhole the armhole is the only open place on this dress right now so i'll go ahead and turn it out from the armhole after turning it from the armhole i'll go ahead and iron it very very well like you need to give it a nice press as especially if you are working with a lace you know after adding interface and all that your fabric will be very thick so you go ahead and iron very very well so after ironing i will now close my zipper allowance like i said my zipper allowance is the only part of this dress that we have a french seam an outer seam or french seam so now i am done turning and i will iron now i am done ironing the next thing that i will do is to close the zipper allowance area so this is the zipper allowance right i will go ahead and close you can see that every part of the dress is closed and i marked where my slit will stop at so that place that i marked a small line is where my slit will start from so now i am done closing that and i am done ironing it is time to fix our beads so i'm not going to fix the bead of the whole dress right this i just want to I'm, I, like i said i made this dress just for illustration's sake I, i'm not making it for myself so there is no point adding the beads throughout the dress now i will trim the armhole because this one that i'm making is an off shoulder i will trim the armhole right so after trimming the armhole i will start fixing my bead so i will be fixing this bead with a normal thread a normal sewing thread thread and needle if you want to use a plastic a beading a bead thread like a plastic thread fine but i used a normal thread for this and if you are fixing this you will use the color of the bead like if your bead is let's say your bead is white the thread you should be using should be white if your bead is red the thread you be using should be red you get now i'll go ahead and attach my thread on one side of this i want to start from the waistline so this bead that i'm using is just a plastic bead i bought it 100 naira. the full pack i don't know how much you sell it but you'll be needing like three packs for a full dress you'll be needing like three packs of this bead for a full dress but i bought just a little for the sake of this illustration right so i will open and i will start fixing my beads so it is very easy really really easy this bead part is like the simplest part of this dress making the hard for me the hard part is the pattern drafting and the joining once you're done with your pattern drafting and joining you have solved like 80 percent of your problem this bead is very easy your apprentices can help you to fix it so now i am trying to like fix the first strand i am starting from my half length if you are to fix your bead i'll advise you to start from your half length so that your first bead will cover the joining at the half length you understand your first bead should be able to cover the joining at your half length then as you are fixing the bead you also be measuring you'll be checking if it has reached the point where you want that particular strand to stop at so now i have gotten the one that i want this this one is very okay for that waistline now i'll go ahead and attach it on the other side of the half length now after doing that i will pass the thread under you 
you can see i passed the thread under and i had to knot that particular thread like three to four times before i started fixing the second one so if you pass your thread you should not like three to four times you should tie it like three to four times before you start facing your second strand so this one is the second strand so if i get to where i want it to stop i will knot it i will like double the i'll pass the thread multiple times like three or four times now you will continue with this and with the next strand so if you reach the other side of that strand also let's say your thread have finished you will just tie it after tying it then you will continue with a fresh thread so you should double your thread very very well so that it will not fall off easily you can see i am knotting like three times i am tying like three times after passing the thread like three times i will continue with the next one so my thread finished at this point you will experience this uh, particular thing your thread will finish at a point so you will have to start with a fresh thread you will pass your thread like three to four times then you start inserting your beads So you can see I am fixing the, this particular one. This one is around the hip area. And you can see when I started with this thread, I had to pass it like three to four times, right? After passing it, I'll start inserting the bead. And as you are inserting the bead, you'll be measuring the length to know if it has reached where you wanted it to be. So now I am done with this one. I will now pass that thread like four to three times. After passing it, you will pass it under and then you will start the second one. You pass it under and then you start inserting the next strand. So if you pass, please tie your tie this particular thread like three to four times before you start the next one. I hope you understand what I'm doing here. You should tie it like three to four times before you start inserting your beads. So when you reach the other side also, you will tie three to four times. This is in order to secure that bead. It is very important so that if you mistakenly like drag the bead, it will not fall off immediately. And please double your thread very, very well. Double your thread very well. And if I'm to advise you, each of your each thread should not carry more than five strands so that if you have any issue you can easily replace five strands you get so each thread will carry high yes three to four strand so at the end of the day this is what i have i hope this is beautiful and this is where you're going to be ending this particular class so you are free to add the sleeve of your choice and everything i hope with the clue i have given throughout this tutorial that you are able to like grab something right so thank you guys so much and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that anytime we upload a new video you will get notified thank you all so much i am ijoma and see you all in my next video bye